in the earlier episode of kal chakra tantra which is basically a book written by shri neeraj kumar in three volumes so in last episode we actually had a glimpse about the kal chakra philosophy its origin kalki avatar algorithm artificial intelligence and much much more things if you have not seen that episode it's highly recommended you must watch it to know the philosophy in deep so this time we have with us sonia gomes from portugal she is the co-founder of satwa and apart from that she has been international advisor founder at lotus heart ngo in nepal working on health and education for women and female empowerment she is international advisor in nepal buddhist education and meditation center advisor at sangakaya foundation in india since july 2020 Portugal country director of international youth society since September 2020 an immensely talented woman so sonia gomes would be taking interview of shri neeraj kumar ji on sanskrit and kal chakra tantra let's go to them welcome to satva project uh, open heart open mind today i am in india in the ministry of culture with shri neeraj kumar for another interview on the amazing book the kalashaka tantra and in this very special day thank you so much namaste thank you so much for receiving me in such a wonderful place i'm very happy to be here with you again mm-hmm. and it's a pleasure to be able to do uh, more questions about your interesting work on the kalashaka tantra but for those who don't remember our interviews in the past so niraj kumar is a prolific writer his first book on Pan Asian was published in the year 2002. He has to his credit more than a half a dozen books. Uh he has written and spoken on Hindu tantras. He is associated with the Society for Asian Integration. He started working on Kalashaka Tantra for the last 8 years and his first volume running into 685 pages and uh, was published last year. There are four more volumes yes. oh, in the pipeline. The second volume is to be released uh, this October. Yes. So he hails from Magadha, uh, Bihar, uh, near Bodh Gaya, and currently is based in New Delhi, and is responsible for the Buddhist affairs for the Indian government. So welcome Sri Nirash Kumar. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, much again Thank to receive me in New Delhi this time. So are you ready for the questions on the Kalashaka Tantra and thank you again for this <laughs> amazing view yeah. of this beautiful tanka? Yeah. Great. Yeah, I'm ready. So let us have this is going to be our fourth round of uh, yeah, discussion it's on the Kalashaka. Fourth. Yes. It's the fourth dialogue mm. about the book. Yes. So Several scholars claim that Sanskrit in Kala Chakra is very uh, crude and likely to be composed in Central Asia. What are your views? Yes, uh, generally it was believed that uh, Kala Chakra Tantra was composed in Sambala, and Sambala uh, is uh, uh, in the North uh, Arctic region. some people try to locate it in central asia mm-hmm. and many western scholars uh, in early 20th century they claim that uh, the sanskrit of kal chakra it is not proper sanskrit it has been written by someone who is not conversant with sanskrit so what that was the view which was prevailing but i think uh, most of uh, those uh, western uh, scholars of early 20th century they did not have access to the sanskrit text full sanskrit text of the kal chakra tantra the manuscript though it was available uh, in cambridge university library mm-hmm. uh, but it was finally published only in 1985 by ascetic society kolkata mm-hmm. and the manuscript is now accessible to everyone it is composed in sanskrit and it's a very good sanskrit though uh, due to its poetic nature because as we have discussed it has been composed in sagdhara meter mm-hmm. so somewhere panini grammar has been compromised but basically it's a sanskrit text that is wrong so do you mean um to say the kalashaka tantra is purely a sanskrit 
uh, composition which was written in India? Is this what you are saying? Uh, exactly. Hmm. Because uh, I tell you when my book came, one of a uh, uh, senior retired civil servant in India who happened to be a Buddhist. Hmm. So when I was sharing about the news of my book, and uh, he asked me when this book was translated from Tibetan into Sanskrit. Hmm. And that came as a shock to me. Because even learned people, they believe and they identify Kal Chakra with Tibetan traditions. Yes. And they think that Kal Chakra is something which was composed in Central Asia and carried forward by the uh, Tibetan uh, Lamas. But this is not correct. In my book, uh, in the intro, it's a long introduction of 225 pages. And I tried to establish that this book was composed very much in, in India and uh, uh, particularly it was composed by Naropa, mm -hmm. the uh, great master uh, of uh, the Kaju order. Yes. And the uh, uh, second thing uh, regarding is Sanskrit tradition. So Kal Chakra Tantra does not exist you know, in isolation. It's not only one book. Mm -hmm. Along with it, you know, the commentary Vimal Prabha was written uh, almost at the same time when this text was composed. So Vimal Prabha commentary that too is in Sanskrit. Then uh, if you see Sekotes Tika, uh, which was uh, written by Naropa himself and he is citing Vimal Prabha there. So that was in Sanskrit. Then we have got Sekotes Panjika, that was in Sanskrit. And then after we see that a lot of Kal Chakra scholars are coming from India, Vyagar Gop, and his, all his uh, writings are in on Kal Chakra uh, are in Sanskrit only. So uh, we have Anupam Rakshit, we have, so it's a continuous train uh, that uh, comes, uh, I will say, up to Van Ratna during late 15th century. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the texts are being composed in Sanskrit. So I will put Kal Chakra at the Sanskrit Buddhist tradition mm -hmm. and that had roots in India mm -hmm. and that continued to enthrall whole of uh, Asia, Eurasia even now. Very good. So Indian, written yes. in India. Yes. This is very clear. Yes. Very good. Then kindly throw some lights uh, on alphabet system of the Kala Chakra Tantra. Is it possible, please? <sighs> <laughs> Can you kindly do that? Oh. As we discussed, the Kal Chakra it just, uh, has been composed in Sanskrit yeah. and in one of the toughest meters of Sanskrit, Sraddhara, in which there are 84 syllables in one stanza. So now, if we see even this alphabetical system, it is very mathematical. So earlier also we have discussed ki how Kal Chakra, you know, uh, it, uh, uh, it plays with mathematics and algorithm. So, the vowels and consonants we know even in Sanskrit uh, alphabet, but Kal Chakra has a different system. So it has got 30 vowels, 30, and 36 consonants. Mm. So first let us come to vowels. How come there will be 30 vowels? So they consider 5 vowels as the primary vowel. So that is O, mm. the very first sound, O, E, Re, um and lyric, lyric that is a vowel so these five primary vowels and these have again you know uh, or these are short vowel then long vowel then it becomes a e okay re yes u and so this, this is the first set of 10 vowels then we have got diphthongs Mm. What means uh, Sanskrit uh, linguistics? We say diphthongs. So mm. combination of these five pri primary vowels. So those are again five gun vowels. So a, a, r, o, al. So how it is formed? From the first five primary vowels, a, e, a, a, e, r, u, l, r. When you combine a with e, yeah. it becomes a. Yes. A with r, it becomes r. Uh. A with U it becomes O and O with Liri it becomes Al. So these five are the Gun vowels and then these are you know again doubled and it becomes Vriddhi. Vriddhi means increase. So you have got then A, A, okay, Ri, not Ri, A, A, R, O and Al. 
So we have 10 plus 10, yes. 20 vowels. Then we have 5 semi vowels. Okay. So what are these semi vowels? So we know ha, ya, ra, wa, la. And uh, they uh, all this tantric, Buddhist tantric system. <laughs> yes. These have this ha, ya, ra, wa, la. Particularly in Kal Chakra. So it is also said that this mantra ha, ya, ra, wa, la, yuta. Means joined with ha, ya, ra, wa, la. So these are the semi vowels. And then the long semi vowels ha, ya, ra, wa, la. So these are the 30 vowels. Similarly, consonant there are 36. Okay, so how it comes? So see, we know there are uh, uh, five series of kavark, chavark in Sanskrit. So those are 25 uh, consonants, and then we have the six series of s. Okay, so s sibilants. There they have introduced two more s. So where from it comes? So these came from the old Vedic tradition. So one is called uh, or, or this is Jiva Mulika, the Visarga, a spirit which is which comes just before Ka and Kha. Mm. And then one uh, sibilant is uh, Updhavanya. So that that is when whenever Visarga Ha sound that comes before Pa and Fa, so that is Updhavanya. So that way, generally we know there are three kind of S, okay, in Sanskrit language. Ki one is dental S, and then uh, you have got cerebral S, so, but, and labial S. But here we have five S. So that completes the series. So six, five, the 30. Then you have again got five semi-consonant. Yes. Semi-vowels are also semi-consonant. So that becomes 35. And then Aksha. Aksha from... Uh, you know, even in the Kal Chakra Mantra, you find this Aksha or yes. with uh, being referred. So, that is the summation of all the consonants. So, here Panini Pratyahal theory has been used okay, when you add all the numbers from Ka to Sa, mm. large uh, cerebral S, then that becomes Aksha. So, these are the 36 uh, consonants. Now, interestingly, if you multiply these 36 consonants with these 30 vowels, what is mm. the number? This is 1080, three years. And if you add 45 more vowels, and uh, that is different vowel than these 30 which we are discussing, because there uh, we have to take short vowel, long vowel, and the plut, mm. plut where we use, uh, yes. you know, long nasal sound of ang mm -hmm. uh, yeah. or like a chand bindu. So those are 45, the, when you add the 1080 plus 45 vowels, that becomes 1125. The number which we have been discussing time and again, yes. that number stands for the Kal Chakra. Yes. So in this Kal Chakra Sanskrit system, you find interestingly, you have two additional sibilants in the series of S. And why they put it? Because you know, all these alphabets, mm. okay. They have elemental nature. Mm, very good. I understand. So you mean to say that this alphabet have elemental nature. Please explain um, to our audience what is elemental nature. Kind of. Please See, do. there are five great elements. Mm -hmm. Maha Bhutaj. Or in Kal Chakra it is also called Dhatu. Because it uh, it carries, mm -hmm. it holds dharan. So from dharan it becomes dhatu. And what are these five great elements? This start from space, mm -hmm. and then wind, then fire, water, and earth. Yes. All the alphabets have elemental nature. When we are talking about the five vowels, primary vowel, a, e, ri, u, ri, each vowel, you know, it stand for one element. Mm -hmm. O stand for a space, mm -hmm. E stand for wind, mm -hmm. R stand for fire, mm -hmm. U stand for water, and Liri has the nature of earth. Mm -hmm. Similarly when you come and you know all these elements have also different colors. Mm -hmm. So Kal Chakra is a very colorful system. Mm -hmm. It's basically chromodynamics. Mm -hmm. Okay. And therefore, you know, in Kal Chakra, the last realization is of a rainbow body. Again, it's going to be a fully colorful thing. So, uh, a space has green color mm -hmm. 
and then uh, our wind had black color and then you have fire had red color water had white color and earth had got yellow color now when you come to cons consonants these series have also you know different elemental values like kawarg this has a space element so its color will be green mm. then chawarg it has you know wind the uh, element its color will be black mm. so on and then the six it has sawarg okay that civil land so that stands for no gnosis elements six okay gyan and its color is blue so you see all the vowels consonant all the alphabet all these are very colorful in kal chakra mm -hmm. therefore when we see this uh, um, uh, kal chakra mantra also ten folded mantra yes. in ranjana script is so colorful yes because yes. there also this all how your raw lord this carry color yes. your had wind nature it had black color ra had fire nature it had red color and so on so if you see uh at the monogram of kal chakra you know mm -hmm. uh, uh, that that tense level thing is again based on the elemental colors wow super interesting i'm very fascinated to hear this and uh, so these alphabets um they mix in different uh, combinations to generate seed syllabus mm. and uh, from this seed syllabus uh, various signs let's say like this uh, tools very sign tools right uh, they arise from there mm. and deities emerge right mm. so in a way um, these deities are mere expressions of different seed syllabus mm. uh, please share um, some example if you don't mind huh. this is a very complicated you know <laughs> uh, complicated question uh, i would try to um, try to explain uh, you see in kal chakra just we discussed that there are alphabets yes. but these alphabets then combine is mixing of alphabets mm. but that combination is not random yes it it too has an algorithm the combination can be either in generation sequence srishti kram mm -hmm. or it can be you know uh, uh, like a dissolution sequence sanghar kram destruction sequence so what is a generation sequence what is this sanghar sequence so i will just give one example Okay, suppose we had got the first, or I am talking about the uh, uh, generation sequence. So we have got the first series of consonant covered, and this had to multi be multiplied by the primary vowels. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So covered had five consonant: ka, kh, g, g, and anga, and these are to be multiplied by five primary vowels: a, e, r, u, l, r. Okay. Mm -hmm. now what happens the cover you have to take it in reverse sequence so first you have to take under mm -hmm. to multiply with five vowels mm -hmm. and then anuswar ang okay so it become anga multiply by o anga multiply by e anga multiply by r and so on and anga multiply by ang then you take gha yes. gha multiply by o so this uh, this way different seed syllables are generated then in sanghar sequence destruction sequence the consonants you see that had to be taken in a normal order mm. vowels order gets yes. reversed yeah and the normal order but in that thing this consonant not that becomes conjoined consonant that doubles mm -hmm. so say you have ka kha ga ga ang multiply by a bari then the bari ri u ri and o oh, now we sir comes so when you have to multiply by ka with this mm -hmm. you have to not multiply only ka it will be ka ka mm -hmm. so ka ka multiply by o a ka ka multiply by bari e ka ka multiply by a yes. so it's like that then uh, these c syllable arises so this is very complex 
Yes. And when you multiply, you get almost 1,080 seed syllables. Now you see, in the uh, Kal Chakra system, they assume three spheres of existence. Three mm -hmm. spheres. You have got uh, Asthul means gross, physical. Mm -hmm. So deities, yes. gods, these are in the you know Asthul form. Yes. Very gross form. Yes. Then you have got such subtle. Yes, sir. So these signs like deity represented by say uh, sword yes. or vajra, yes. okay, or even lotus flower. Yes. So these are the sukshma form, subtle form. And then there is apara, the other. So that is in the form of seed syllables. Yes. So what happens? Say from whom? Whom is the seed syllable? From that of black vajra arises, yes. and then from black vajra, say your kal chakra arises. Yes. Okay, so this is like that. You have got a seed syllable hum, then black vajra, that is a, 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 a sign. Yes. Okay, or something symbol. It symbolizes something, and then you have the grosser deity. Yes. So if you find you are there are six families in kal chakra. You know, satkul. Six kulas. Yes. So let us say Amitabh kul. So the seed syllable for Amitabh, mm -hmm. it is U. U stands for water element. Mm -hmm. And Amitabh, you know, yeah, Amitabh. Uh, Amitabh, he holds a white flower, yes. lotus flower. So from U syllable, mm -hmm. our lotus flower yes. comes. Yes. So U is the apara, and then subtle. Or uh, uh, sukshma, or uh, sukshma, or uh, the, the the lotus, and yes. from that Amitabh, yes. Dhyani Buddha arises. Yes. So it's like that. So there are, uh, so you see there are layer after layer. Yes. And as I discussed in last discussion, yes. That beyond the three layer is a layer of mathematical numbers. Yes. It's it's a lot of mathematics yes. here. And it's that's why it's not easy to understand mm. and it's not simple to realize how this become seed syllabus. Mm. So for, for many people this is strange, mm -hmm. right? Mm. So uh, placing this uh, seed syllabus uh, inside body, mm. right, and uh, consider, uh, is considered to be the primary steps in tantric uh, let's say in tantric worship mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so please give some example of nyasa if possible mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see uh, nyasa yes nyasa nyasa comes from the term ni chor as as mean to be so establishing something that is nyasa mm. and in tantra what we do actually we establish you know the energies, the subtle, subtlest form, and that is in the seed syllable. Yes. The deities are very gross. Yes. Subtlest form is seed syllable. Mm -hmm. So we place those seed syllables, mm -hmm. and those are connected with elements, great yes. elements, at different points of body. Mm -hmm. So I will just uh, talk about like uh, uh, how we do this uh, six chakra nyasa mm -hmm. in kal chakra. In kal chakra. System, there are six, six. The, the, you know uh, wheels of energy within body. Mm -hmm. In many of the earlier tantra, there are only four. Yes. In many Hindu tantra, it is seven. Somewhere it is eight. But mm -hmm. Kal Chakra has six because it is basically a six-folded yoga, a six-folded system. So every thing here yes. is uh, in a you know six and uh, six template. Mm -hmm. uh, if one says, so it's a six by six pixel of reality in Kal Chakra. Mm -hmm. So here we have got Usnis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ushnish, and, yes. Yeah. So here the sixth level is Hung. 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 Mm -hmm. Ha and Anuswar. Yes. Okay. And then here it is Lalat, mm -hmm. forehead. Here the sixth level is, uh, uh, you know, Om. Om. And then here it is your throat. Mm -hmm. Here the sixth level is uh, aha, heart. Here sixth level is hum. Mm. And then we have got navel. Yes. Sixth level is ho. Oh. And then we have secret 
a place yes. where six syllable is uh, 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 ho, uh, acha. 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 So thus these six, six syllables become uh, actually om, a, hum, ho, han, acha. And there are five dhyani buddhas in the, the tantric buddhism. Kal chakra adds the six words sattva. So five dhyani buddhas are here, you know, uh, this is uh, the, uh, uh, at Usnis, uh, it is uh, Akshobhya. Yeah. Yeah. Then here is Amitabh. Here is, uh, uh, we have Ratna Sambhav. Here we have Amog Vajra at heart. Amog Siddhi. Yes. And here at Neval we have Vairochan. And as the secret place it is. Vajra Sattva. So this six and the last, you know, uh, this uh, Dhyani Buddha, Vajra Sattva, yes. which has the six syllable of Aksha yes. and that is carrier of wisdom also. Yes. Okay, so that is at the secret place. So this is how we do the Nyasa at these yes. six chakras and uh, that is how we, you know, in a way invite this Dhyani Buddha yes. who are the presiding deities of those chakras to be enter our body. It's interesting that that is very important point uh, and almost nobody talks about that in Tantric Buddhism. The place of the Vajrasattva and the, secret, and the importance mm -hmm. of the aspect of wisdom in the Vajrasattva uh, in the secret place. This is very interesting conversation. I'm really fascinated mm -hmm. to hear about your points and the six syllabus and uh, the five Dhyani Buddhas and Vajra Sattva. Mm -hmm. This is this is many mm -hmm. people totally don't realize this. Mm -hmm. They are totally out of this reality you are talking about, right? So I remember once in one of our Sattva uh, talks, mm -hmm. um, I remember you told me uh, about uh, the Kalashaka Tantra system, uh, the proper grating is the Namaskara gesture. Mm. Can you kindly justify that statement, please? The Namaskara gesture, please. Can you kindly explain? Uh, yes. Hmm. I still remember, like, uh, this is how I greeted everyone. I uh, put hmm. both folded uh, palms on my crown chakra hmm. and then I greeted like that. Mm -hmm. uh, during that uh, discussion while we were, you know, establishing yes. Sattva. The Sattva forum, mm -hmm. yes. So, mm -hmm. basically, if you see the very first stanza of the Kal Chakra Tant, so that talks about ki how the King Suchandra, he comes with folded hands mm -hmm. and he put both his hands over his crown mm -hmm. and then he bows down before mm -hmm. Adi Buddha. Mm. And he requests him for the sake of, you know, benefit to sentient beings in the Kali Yuga, mm -hmm. so kindly uh, teach me Kal Chakra Tantra. So, after going through and writing the commentary over the Kal Chakra Tantra, and finally I realized that the yoga which has been, men the, uh, yoga which has been mentioned in the very first verse, that is the simplest yoga of the Kal Chakra Tant, which anyone can follow and which most of the Indian do follow while greeting yes. because we do pranam like this only. Absolutely. So what is this? Mm. You see, just we were talking that even alphabets have elemental nature. Similarly, our fingers, mm. even these have elemental mm. natures. Mm -hmm. I will just show you with one of the diagrams here. If you see this, the uh, little finger, yes, that has the nature of a space, yes, and then this ring finger that has nature of wind, yes, the middle finger has the nature of water or uh, fire, fire, and this is index finger has nature of water, uh, uh, water and thumb has the nature of alt, and see thumb is the heaviest, and thumb is the most dense among all the fingers and this is the you know mm -hmm. the, the most ready five finger mm -hmm. our ring uh, the little finger mm -hmm. so all these five fingers basically these represent five mandala 
of even prana yes and in all the five fingers if you see there are three phalanx uh, phalanges yes okay the lower one middle one and upper one these three are the three gunas yes the, the lower one is the sattva guna yes middle one is the rajas yes. and the upper one is the tamas, tamas guna so yes. in a way in our palm it's like we, the ayurvedic humor so yes so yes it's say like this yes. yes in our palm itself we have got all you know five elements yes and all the three gunas mm-hmm. and then in kal chakra system if you see on the right side mm-hmm. five mandalas mm-hmm. of prana flows and each mandala has one elemental mm-hmm. nature mm-hmm. on left side five mandalas of prana flows mm-hmm. when you join both your palms together mm-hmm. then all the ten mandalas of prana that come together and it start flowing in your madhyama yes and when you put your this no a uh, uh, ten uh, all this ten mandalas of prana mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. at your crown mm-hmm. you see then yes. it forms the five pronged vajra which is at usneesh yes usneesh yes. okay so it is said no on usneesh there is five pronged vajra yes. from which five different kind of lights yes. you know radiate yes. so this is what has been stated in the very first stanza of the kal chakra tantra mm-hmm. so this doing pranam mm-hmm. in a way is bringing your energy in the madhyama you stop your right channel mm-hmm. okay rasna and you stop your left channel lalna mm-hmm. and the prana start flowing in the madhyama mm-hmm. and that is what all of us are you know of all yoga yes. is nothing but to you know stop the flow of prana in these two channels mm-hmm. and let it flow into madhyama so by doing this prana mm-hmm. basically we are doing that uh, you know yoga for the madhyama mm-hmm. so this is what i meant to say during that discussion of the in such a forum yeah. when we begin our yeah. project right yes, yeah. now i understand your words mm. and the importance of the namaskara yes uh gesture interesting so you mean to say that uh, by joining both palms and uh, touching one as one uh, crown yes. let's say like this itself is a kind of simple yet very powerful you exactly. that's what you are trying yeah, to say exactly that is what uh, i tried to explain even this if just simple thing it's a very powerful yes, yoga yes yes and uh, uh, many of the hindus when we go to temple mm. actually we bow down before our deity like that only because we uh, fold our palms and then we bow down mm-hmm. so generally we do or uh, when uh, one you know uh, prostrate before deity to mm-hmm. one does same thing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so that's interesting like this mm. right yeah very good uh kind of uh, when you start doing prostrations in tibetan mm. uh nondro yeah uh, you also start yes similar let's yes. say yes. like this yes. okay let's not go deep in this so can you share a bit about um uh, the five great empties and the six linked mantras of the kala chakra tantra to finish our talk today to not go much 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 deeper today we went already so mm. much deeper into these areas mm. that i think to finish with this question is finish uh, in a wonderful way uh, in kal chakra we uh, get reference to you know uh, five mm. mahasunya okay and where from that came that has come from nam sangeeti because that has been mentioned in nam sangeeti but what are those five mahasunya yes these are basically syllables and what are the five great empties mm. so one is o a and then anuswar ang and visarg a so these four great empties are in e, one each in four directions yes. like o it is in the eastern direction and i in western direction 
ang is in northern direction and ah in the uh, southern direction. Ho, this is another fifth great empty and that is basically anahat. Anahat. Yes. Anahat means unstruck. Yes. So it's not even a vowel. So these five, the set of five, o, a, ang, ah, and ho, that forms the five great empty. Mm. Now, those who have taken initiation from His Holiness 14 Dalai Lama, so they are in a, or, or the uh, or Sanskrit Hindi version, you will always find uh, it has been stated after every month and then now you recite the Sadang mantra. Sadang means Sad Jor Ang, six limbed mm-hmm. mantra. Mm-hmm. So, what is that Sadang mantra? That is not given there. Yes. But I know that Sadang mantra, the root of that Sadang mantra, that comes from Hrida. Hrida is hard, free. Free, and you know, when you multiply this combined Hri, with the long primary vowels, then mm-hmm. Sadang Mantra comes. This is very secret, but I am just telling if all uh, the people's interest you know, that, that Sadang Mantra is not something which is so secret which cannot be found. So that Sadang yes. Mantra comes from the root Ri. Ri has many meanings. Mm-hmm. It's not only like a Hida, because Ri is also modesty. And it is from Hrida. Hri is also, you know, sense of, a bit of sense of uh, com- compassion for others. Mm-hmm. So from the great Karuna, Maha Karuna, Maha Karuna only yes. you can start the journey for yes. Dharma. So this Sadang uh, Mantra, uh, which in Kal Chakra initiation uh, uh, yeah, it, uh, being, uh, is to be recited, mm-hmm. so basically that has a root in our heart in our compassion, yes. compassion for others. Yes. So, I would like to continue with that conversation, but uh, I think uh, more for the next time. Yes. Like with this, with compassion, with the syllabar, sit syllabary in yes. this case, right? Yes, yes. To finish this talk. Yes. And to go back to the sit syllabus and the importance of the sit syllabus. Yes. So, uh, audience can understand a bit Mm-hmm. Uh, related the Sit syllabus with Mahakaruna, that is mm. the deep foundation of the mantra. Yes. Right? Yes. So I'm happy that I understood. Mm. And I really don't have words uh, to thank you for mm. your time, your mm. kindness, mm. sharing with us all your study and knowledge. This is extremely <laughs> complicated. Mm. And again, mm. if I will show the mm. wonderful book. Mm. from Srinidash Kumar, the mm. Kala Chakra Tantra, please. It is available in many libraries in, around India and also oh, in Amazon uh-huh. online. So mm. everybody can enjoy all these themes we have been discussing in this fourth session and soon we will have uh, the fifth session. Yeah. But mm. uh, yeah, very soon, I think. Very soon. <laughs> I think very, very soon uh-huh. we will have, uh, because I would like to be discussing this mm-hmm. more deeply, mm-hmm. but I think for today is already too much information for the audience to digest. <laughs> and it was really a pleasure to be here in New Delhi, in India, in Srinidash Kumar office uh, with his team. Everybody was so amazingly kind. And this is my gift. I think this is a wonderful gift and I recommend the lecture, definitely. So thank you so much. And I hope everybody can see us very soon. Mm. And thank you very much. Namaste. Thank you or very should much. we do Namaskar? <laughs> Namaskar. Thank, thank you. you. Unsung India Foundation would like to convey thanks to Sonia Gomes from and Sattva for her time. That was again a brilliant episode on five elements, vowels, consonants, and Sanskrit language. People, someone is doing real hard to notify this information to the whole world that Kal Chakra is spread from here to the other countries. It was the origin of India, like many other scriptures. India has given a lot of things in the past to the whole world, but we always took time to recognize this. Until someone from the Western country woke us, we are already too late to recognize that this philosophy is ours. 
someone is spending his days and nights writing this book support him by purchasing this book and reading it so soon we will meet again with new episode of a new chapter with new energy thank you jai hind